All right, we're recording. So uh, this is the Hyper Taxi board on a homemade uh, yeah, bigger ver version, huh? Well, this is actually a scaled-down version of the Great Plains VFO. So it's 75% size of the Great Plains VFO. It's got a Hyper Taxi board. Uh, the battery is a two-cell 350 Hyperion. It's a um, Got three HXT 500 servos. Uh, the motor is uh, 1700 kV. It's 16 to 20 grams. Got 80 43 prop. So, so you just change the connectors from the servos to fit onto the Spectrum, stock, you know, plugs. What's in there is a connecting block, and it's uh, it's five three-pin headers. So it's for the four servos and for the motor. It's common ground. All the grounds are connected, but the servos are powered off the speed controller. Oh. You see, the 5 volt from the speed controller connects to the 5 volt of the servo, but not to the board. And that's so that the board isn't trying to power the servos because it could overpower the board. Right. The, the so speed control on the board is not used. Uh, channel 5 comes off the board and goes to the speed controller. Uh, to run the oh, so the BEC is actually powering the HyperTaxi servo brick. Um, no, the, the brick the brick hooks directly to the two cell. Oh, okay. Of the battery, and so the 7.4 goes right into the brick, and to the speed controller, and to the battery motor. Um, and so, so that way, all, all the board does is put out signal, and you don't worry about overpowering the board because these servos might might pull up current from right. the board. So it works, it, uh, you can see it actuating. And cool. Let's see how it flies. You get a little bit of jitter in the air, but it flies well. Let's So Eric, what was the difference between in flight with the board compared to how it was without the board? It's, it's less of a handful. Still, it's not, it's not an easy thing to fly still, but it was, it was a real handful without it. It was fun, I enjoyed it. But this is even better. It's smoother, more predictable. Take a little more room. Easier to move. More predictable. How much time do you get off of that battery? Um, four to six minutes, I'd say. Depends on how much hovering you do. And it always maintains that nose up attitude like the hyper taxi does? So yeah, it doesn't, you you're not fighting? In forward flight, you have to give it a lot of up elevator constantly, like right now. At this point, you just have to give it a bit. It'll go like, that's with none. It'll slowly come down, whereas before it would just die. I also was able to uh, move the battery back from where I used to have it. And the, um, and the gyros on the board make, make that easier. Because you, you can have more of a real CG than you have a controller for it. Yeah, it looks like it hovers a lot better than it used to, that's for sure. Yeah, I think it's stable. Very nice. So that's the 75% VFO with the HyperTaxi board. Cool. I also added these stringers to give it a little more firmness, which helps. Is that spider wire? That down. That's, um, yeah, it's, it's like a tough thread. And so that helps give it a little more rigidity. So there you have it. Cool.